welcome to some full body workout. This might be hit, might be strength, I don't really know. We're just gonna see what happens. Um, we're gonna get a really quick warm up here. Let me meet you. Uh, we're gonna get a really quick warm up here. Just getting a twist, twist through the spine. My entire spine just popped. Maybe a little punch. Getting that extension through the elbow, keeping your core tight. Four, three, two, squat it out. Take it down, lift, down, back on the heels. Squat, lift, squat, lift. Four, three, two, back to twist. Bring it up, take a twist, twist, twist. Twist. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Back to squat. Take it down. Lift. Down. Lift. Down. Lift. Four more. Then we're coming to a slow um, high knee. Three. Two. Arms up. Alternate knees. Knee. 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 Squeeze that core. We're gonna add a little twist. Bringing the knee to opposite elbow in four, three, two, twist it out. Engaging that core. Four more, four, three, two. Reverse lunges, back, lift, back, alternate, back, Lift. You don't have to be with the beat if you don't want to. Don't worry too much about it. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Slow high knees straight up and down. Straight up. Don't twist yet. Four more. Suck that core in. Three. Two, add the twist, knee to opposite elbow. Twist, 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 you got four, three, two, reverse lunge, and go, take it back, lift, back, chest is lifted. You bring the hands to the hips, you bring the arms in front, or out to the side to help with balance. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Step it out, walk it out. We've got 50 seconds of movement, 10 seconds of rest. Starting off with a bicep curl, overhead press. Mixing those movements together. We're gonna come into a heavy squat. That's gonna be a more narrow squat. And then we're coming into a slow burpee. So medium to heavy weights, bicep curl, overhead press. Three, two, and begin. Keep your feet moving here. Nice, slow, and controlled. When you come down on that bicep curl, no swinging of the arms. Mixing these movements together adds a little bit of that cardiovascular system. Maybe you come into a little calf raise. That's fine. Oh, we have a narrow squat with a reverse lunge. Sorry, I forgot to tell you about the reverse lunge. <laughs> so you want heavier weights for that. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Maybe grab some heavier weights. They're gonna be at your side. You're gonna narrow squat, step back, lunge, alternate. Narrow lunge, or narrow squat, lunge. Bring it forward, squat, step back, lunge. What we have coming up next is a burpee. The burpee is gonna be real slow though. I don't want you to get bogged down in going as fast as you can. A burpee, is a functional move. It teaches you to get up and down, off the ground, over and over again. You see a lot of like 
um, like your elderly parents, parents or grandparents, sometimes they won't get on the ground because they can't get back up. That's why I tell people, you never have to jump. It's self-paced. You go as fast as you can. Three, two, drop those weights. We have a burpee. So again, you're not jumping with this one. This is a warm-up burpee. You're gonna squat, step it back, bring it back up. Ready, go. So it's a nice, slow burpee, but you're squatting to get yourself down. Think about leading with the opposite leg. So you step back with that left leg, and then you step back with that right leg. Alternating which leg you step back with, your heels come all the way to the ground. It's a nice, slow burpee. 20 more seconds. How do that? 15 seconds. We're back to that curl and overhead press after this. Three, two, one, and bicep curl, overhead press. We have three rounds of three exercises. Three, two, and one. Curl it, press it. Keep that chest lifted. Maybe add that calf raise. This is not speed oriented. Do not lock your knees. You'll notice I'm moving around. If you lock your knees, blood can pool in your legs and that's when you pass out. You see people like during choir concerts and stuff, pass out. That's why a lot of choirs have them do that little side step or have them just kind of continually move their legs to keep them from getting that orthostatic hypotension. Four, three, two, one, heavier weights, narrow squat with a reverse lunge, alternating legs, three, two, one, squat, back, switch, squat, back, switch. You don't have to be on beat. You want that chest to stay lifted. As I'm hitting my furniture behind me. <laughs> Move it. Feet are about hip distance apart. Toes pointed forward. Shoulder blades back. 15 seconds till that slow burpee. Four, three, two, one, and drop those weights. Slow burpee. You can use a couch or a table. Less distance down, less distance back up. Ready? Go. Now we're gonna try and think about switching that lead leg. If you ever are in a class and they say burpees and jumping is just not a good thing for you, hit this move instead. This is one of the perfect moves for you to do if that jumping is not gonna work for you. Because if you're noticing, that heart rate is still going to increase quite a bit. The move is not about jumping. It's about getting you down on the ground and getting you back up off the ground. 10 seconds. One more round through. Four, three, two, one. Bicep curl overhead press. Ooh, heart rate should be up there. Three, two, begin. Slow and controlled. When we have extra weight, we are keeping everything under control. If we start moving out of control, guess what? That's where injuries happen. Keep your feet moving, keep your knees bent. Maybe add that calf raise up at the top. 25 more seconds. 
We have one more round of the squats and lunges, and one more round of the slow burpee. Then we have a longer rest, where I'm gonna show you the new exercises. Three, two, one, rest it out. Squats and lunges. Three, two, and narrow squat, lunge it back. Narrow squat, lunge it back. Keep that chest lifted, especially back in that lunge. Trying to get that back knee close to the ground, but not quite to the ground. The weight is in the heel of your front leg. Those glutes and quads should be burning. Just lifted. Woo. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and that slow burpee. Slow, slow, modified burpee. Three, two, and begin. Since we're not doing the weight you can move a little faster. If that low burp is something you really wanna do, I am gonna stop you. But I'm trying to keep this more or less lower impact, but still high intensity interval training. Trying to be gentle on those joints, trying to work every muscle in the body. Fifteen more seconds, we get a longer rest. Four, three, two, and longer rest. So what we're coming to is we're in a hinge. You have got two tricep kickbacks, two upright rows. Two tricep kickbacks, two upright rows. From there, we're coming into a deadlift, medium or heavy weight, because I want you to do some single leg. You're gonna do two regular deadlifts, and then one single leg deadlift on each side. And then you'd come back to two regular deadlifts, one single leg deadlift on each side. From there, we're gonna come into a push-up, warrior two, alternating sides. So you're gonna push up, pull one foot through, warrior two. Push up, warrior two, opposite side. We're gonna continue through that as fast as you can. We're starting in 10 seconds with the triceps and the upright row. In three, two, hinge, kick back, two kick backs, standing it up, upright row, lift. Kick back. You're moving at your own pace. If you want to stick with that beat, you can, but it's not necessary. You're at a more medium weight here. Twenty more seconds. We got those deadlifts. If that single leg deadlift is just not gonna happen because of balance issues, just take a regular deadlift for the whole 50 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Heavy or stick with medium weight. Two regular deadlifts, one single leg deadlift on each side. Three, two, begin. I'm gonna move slow here and then one single leg on each side. I didn't move my bike today, which was a mistake because I might smack my head into it. When you hit that single leg, squeezing the glute to bring yourself back up, your back is perfectly flat. 
hitting that single leg will help to get rid of muscle imbalances because now your dominant leg can't compensate. You have 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Push up, warrior two. You can always skip that push up if you need to. Taking it down, alternating sides. You're gonna give me a push up, pull one foot through, warrior two. Engaging those obliques. Alternating sides. Hitting that core, hitting those obliques, keeping a nice bend through the front leg. Back leg is mostly straight. Do not straighten that leg out as you come into this. Working on the hip flexibility as well as leg strength. This is full body. It'll increase the heart rate. Three, two, one, and bring it up. Two tricep kickbacks, two upright rows. Three, two, one. Kick it back, kick it back, and row it up. I'm not on that 32 count, it's gonna drive me nuts, but whatever. We'll survive. Elbows nice and wide. On that upright row, elbows nice and close on the kickback. We're going three rounds here as well, three rounds of each. Three, two, one, and deadlift time. Grab those medium or heavy weights. Two regular deadlifts, single leg on each side. Three, two, one, let's get it down. When you get that single leg, you might take it slower, finding a balance point, a focal point on the ground to help you keep your balance. Sitting the booty straight back, keeping your chest lifted. Keep moving, 10 more seconds. Try to even out that single leg. Make sure you get the same number of single leg deadlifts on each side. Three, two, one. Back to push up position. Push up, pull leg in. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Three, two, one. Push up, pull it. Let's go in his little, his little fort. He's in an old box. That's his Costco fort. Little box from Costco. Brought my groceries in and in. And then became Boo Boo's new favorite toy. Because if you have a cat, you know you do not buy toys for your cat. All you do is buy boxes. How many toys do I have for him? A lot. How many does he play with? None except the box. Ten more seconds. Four, three, two, one more round of each. Two kickbacks, two upright rows. Three, two, and one. Hinge it and kick it back. Upright row. Two of each. Boom. Boom. Chest is lifted. Back is flat, especially in that kickback.
speed is not necessarily your goal. So if this beat's too fast, slow it down. Ten more seconds. Four. Three. Two. And one. Heavier weights. Dead lifts. Four. Three. Two. And down. I'm going to be off beat for this. Back is flat. Try and pull your shoulder blades back and together, especially when you're all the way down. You're not letting any rounding happen through that spine. We have one more round of the push ups and warrior two into reverse warrior, then a longer rest with new exercise. It's almost here off the ceiling like that look on that side. Whoopsie! Even out those single legs. Make sure you get one on each side if you're doing them. Three, two, one, and back to push up position. Longer rest after this. Three, two, one, push up and reverse warrior with a big bend through that front knee. You're not straightening that leg out. It's staying engaged the whole time. seconds. Ooh, that fan feels good. You have a longer rest. Four, three, two, one. Rest it out. Walk it out. We're coming. Hammer curl, lateral raise. Medium to lightweight. So you know, hammer curl, lateral raise like that. Hammer curl, lateral raise. For legs, option for two heavy, one heavy, or two medium is going to be a squat pulse. Point the toes forward, squat pulse. Take it out wide. Squat pulse, step it together just a little bit. So it's not narrow and wide, it's like a regular squat and wide. So your pulse at the bottom, back up and pulse like that. From there, we're taking it down to a push-up position. You're gonna give me a push-up, and you're gonna pull knee to same elbow. Push-up, knee to other elbow. Engaging that core. 10 seconds till we start. Hammer curl, lateral raise. Medium light weights. Three, two, one. Take a curl, lateral. Curl, lateral. Weights on the heels. Your feet can be staggered forward and back, or they can be wide. Whatever stance you feel comfortable in. I'm gonna slow it down here a little bit. I feel like I'm missing some of the muscle action that I could get. If you want, alternate arms for that lateral raise. Maybe you just hit one arm. And then you curl, and then you hit the other arm. Lots of options here. This is never really over. Four, three, two, one. I'm doing one heavy weight in front. Feet are wide, toes point out, pulse in. Three, two, take it down, pulse. Bring it just a little bit narrower and pulse it. So it's not quite a narrow squat, it's a nice wide squat, and then it's a normal squat. You're keeping that chest lifted, gazing up to where the wall meets the ceiling. I don't want you to like look up at the ceiling because that's kind of straining on the neck. You just want to keep that chest from folding forward. Ooh.
10 more seconds. Three, two, and push up position. Push up, knee to same elbow. Nice and slow. Three, two, one. Begin. The narrower that push up is, the more you're gonna hit that tricep. The wider the push up is, the more you're gonna hit the front of that shoulder and the pec. So you listen to your body and do what it's telling you to do. You can drop the knees and still pull that knee up to the outside of that elbow. Or just drop your knees for the push up, tuck the toes under, knee the same. Drop the knees for the push up, tuck the toes, knee the same. So many options. 50 seconds is a long time for push up. That knee to elbow is meant to be a break between push ups. So don't rush through it. Four. Three, two, one. Bringing it up. Hammer curl, lateral raise. Three, two, and hammer curl, lateral. I just don't want to move whiskers on the floor. <laughs> He's shedding whiskers, apparently. You can alternate arms if those shoulders are getting tired or drop weight. Guess it's never really over. And not to get over you all over again. Just because it's over the new over again. I get over the new become a over again. Oh, but it's speed up songs like this. You're like trying to keep up. <laughs> Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Back to wide and regular squat with a pulse at the bottom. Three, two, and one. When you're in that narrower squat, those toes are pointed a lot more forward. Maybe not straight forward, but a lot more forward than they are during the wide. In that wide squat, you want to sit those knees back behind you, opening those hips, hitting that inner thigh and outer glute. Back on the heels, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and drop that weight. Push up, knee to same elbow. Three, two, and begin. Remember, speed, not your goal. Drop those knees if you need to during that push up. I need to. I did chest yesterday. Oh, this hurts. We're going one more round through everything. Then we have one more group of exercises. It's all going to be on the floor for the last group of exercises. Three, two, and one. Bring it up. Hammer curl, lateral raise. Alternate if you need to. Three, two, one, begin. My shoulders are like, done. So I tell you, alternate or drop weight if you need to. Twenty-five more seconds. We're halfway through. We got wide and regular squat push-ups with knee to elbow, and then we're on the ground 
for the rest of the class, whatever this is. Feel weird calling it a class, it's like not a class, but it is. Four, three, two, and drop those weights. Three, two, take it wide, wide. I forgot the pulse. <laughs> you know, things that I tell you to do and I don't do myself. <laughs> Getting that little pulse at the bottom, generally at the very bottom of your range of motion, that's one of the areas where your muscle is the weakest. So we hit a little bit extra. If you find that you're doing squats and when you get fatigued, you kind of get stuck at the bottom, this pulse at the bottom can help keep you from getting stuck by strengthening the muscle in that particular range of motion. Also time under tension for muscles. You're putting your muscles under tension for a longer amount of time. Three, two, push-ups. Then we're staying on the ground. Three, two, and push-up. Knee to elbow. Push up. Keep your core tight. Remember, you can drop the knees for the push up, which I'm doing. Fifteen seconds. I'm gonna roll out my mat for this last set. I don't know why I don't have my mat up, but you know, didn't really occur to me. Four, three, two, quick rest. I'm grabbing my mat, which is conveniently right here. <laughs> so we have two an upper body, lower body, and then kind of a full body movement. The full body movement is gonna be core. So you'll want two medium or light weights. You're hitting two skull crushers for the triceps, then you're straightening those arms, touching the ground behind you once, nice and slow. Two skull crushers, and then squeeze the weights together, touch the ground behind you once, nice and slow. From there, we're coming into the prone hamstring weights between or weight between the feet just hitting that little extension and bend through the knees then you're going to drop that weight flipping it back over we have a reach to the opposite toe or a bicycle so getting on your back with those medium to light weights two skull crusher triceps one straight arm extension three two begin two skull crushers and then weights together, touch the ground behind you nice and slow with extended elbows. That's gonna hit the upper back. Skull crushers hit the tricep. Keep your core engaged. It's a lot of flipping over for that prone hamstring. So right when you hear that 10 second chime or right when I tell you, you are gonna flip over, throw that weight between the legs, between the feet and hit that prone hamstring. for that extended thing over the head. Your elbows are pretty much locked out. Not locked, but almost. If you had them any more extended, they'd be locked. Three, two, one, and weight between the feet, rolling it onto your stomach. Down and up, you're tapping the ground. Do you want more of a work or more of a challenge? Pulse it at the bottom. Pulls it at the bottom. Don't come all the way up. You want those legs to stay, you don't want them to come all the way to 90 degrees. That's gonna completely deactivate the hamstring. When you come down, you're coming up to about right here. So you constantly feel tension. When you're squeezing the weight together, you're also gonna be hitting that inner thigh just a little bit as well. What's up, blue butt? This paw is just like outside of the box. Not sure if you can see. 
we have that almost dead bug or bicycle. Four, three, two, and one. Flipping it back over. Bicycle boom, what are you doing? Three, two, one. Hand to opposite foot. Keep your low back pressed into the mat. Lift, lift, lift. If that becomes too much, elbow to opposite knee. If you feel that in your low back, elbow to opposite knee without a leg extension. 25 seconds. Ten more seconds. Whew. Three, two, and one. Back to triceps skull crushers with a straight arm extension. Two skull crushers, one extension. Three, two, begin right here. Two skull crushers, elbows almost locked, tapping the ground behind you with those weights. Keep your low back pressed to the ground. Maybe you bring those feet off the ground. That will really help to keep the low back pushed into the ground. Keep it moving, 19 seconds. Oddly specific, but that's the number that I saw when I looked. <laughs> between the feet, flipping it over. Again, don't come all the way up and pulse it at the bottom if you can. Taking it, pulse. And all the way, not all the way up. Pulse, I literally just said don't come all the way up. I'm not gonna be on beat just so I can get a few extra in. Remember, you're not coming all the way up. Keeping those hamstrings engaged, squeeze the feet and those knees together to also hit that inner thigh. We have core after this, and then one more round through each, and then we're done. This is also serving as our cool down because none of this is as high intense as what we were doing before. Ooh, those hamstrings should be burning. Three, two, one, core time, flip it over, three, two, one, let's get it, hand to opposite foot, or elbow to opposite knee, skipping that leg extension, if you feel strain in your low back, you need to get that shoulder blade up off the ground to really engage that core. I'm going to switch to a bicycle. Cross it over. Woo. You have 10 more seconds, and then we have our last round through. Four, three, two, and one. Tricep scroll pressure, two of them, straight arm extension. Three, two, and begin. Two skull pressures, straighten those arms out, tap the ground back behind you. Don't lock the elbows, but they're as close to locked as you can get. that low back into the ground. 
10 more seconds. Three, two, and prone. Hamstrings, weight between the foot, the feet, the foot. Don't put it between the foot, between the feet. Three, two, pulls with the bottom, bringing it up. Not all the way up. Squeeze those feet together. Engage that inner thigh as well. Thirty more seconds. We have core to finish up, and then we are done. So we're just gonna rock it out, you know. One of these days I'm gonna get a haircut too. It's starting to get to me. This quarantine hair. Maybe later today. We'll see. It's a really busy day of unemployment. <laughs> Three, two, and core time. Flipping it over. Core of your choice. Three, two, and get some type of twist, some type of lifting that shoulder blade off the ground. Most important is that low back stays pushed into the mat. Twist it out here. Ha, 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 ha. Hi, boo -bye. What you doing in your box? Taking a little nappy nap? Keep moving, 25 seconds. I'm switching to bicycles. We're done after this. Make sure you stretch out. Make sure you grab some water. Stay hydrated. Five, four, three, two, one. You done. Take a quick little rest. Get up when you're ready. Grab some water and have a good rest of your day.